YouTube, this is my video about Penang. It's just south of Thailand and into Malaysia and we stayed in the historic centre of Georgetown. Hope you enjoy it! Georgetown is famous for its historic buildings, street art and delicious street food. The reason the food is so good is because in Penang there's a real mixture of different cultures. This is just a few of our favourite pieces of street art, but it's literally on every street corner. Make sure to subscribe! This is Penang Hill and at 830 metres above sea level you get a perfect view of the city and surroundings. Although you can't really see it through this camera, it does look amazing as well. There are two main ways of getting up this hill. The first way is by taking the funicular railway. The second way is walking which can take a long time it takes up to an hour and 45 minutes we didn't want to walk up because it would be too tiring and also it would be really busy once we get here but we are going to walk down so you'll see the nice scenery there I lied about walking down Penang Hill, so sorry about that. Anyway, it's not just great for the views, there's lots of stuff to do at the top. There are shops, a few amazing temples and some nice walks. But watch out for the cheeky monkeys. One of my favourite things was trying the speciality pudding of Malaysia, sambal, which is a mixture of shaved ice, syrup and fruit. My one had loads of ice cream and biscuits as well. It's great at the top of Penang Hill. Most people come up by this funicular railway. But I must say that the queues are massive and take forever. And you're squashed in the carriages like tin sardines. But it's definitely worth it. We went back down to Georgetown and at night we went to Little India and I made this video next to a loudspeaker just for a joke. there are really lovely. I would recommend getting the nasi lemak. It's spicy hot but really delicious. This is Keklok Si and it's one of the biggest Buddhist temples in the whole of Asia and it looks pretty beautiful. Today we've come to Batu 
Ferengi. I think Batu means beach, but I'm not quite sure. We came here by bus, and I'll talk to you about the buses later in another video. Uh, we just came here to get some nice snorkeling shots and just to chill out. These are the bus tickets we used. They're great and they're only 30 ringgit, which is roughly six pounds. You get lots of information and you can go anywhere on the island for a week, including the Snake Temple. Today we've decided to come to the Snake Temple. It's quite a long ride from Georgetown, but it only took about 45 minutes on the bus. Uh, there's supposed to be venomous snakes crawling around, so wish me luck. And hopefully we can see some really cool looking snakes. In the snake temple, there are some venomous snakes just hanging around. And there is a breeding area where you can see snakes in tanks. And just look at the size of these boa constrictors. This is a leopard gecko. Its tail is so fat because that's where it stores all its fat for food. And if it's being chased by an animal, its tail will naturally fall off and the predator will hopefully eat the tail instead of the leopard gecko. In this video, it's not the gecko shaking, it's me shaking because I'm so nervous. In the making of this next video, I am bitten by a big flying insect. It is quite funny, so we're going to show it you anyway. But before we do so, here's a picture of my horrific injury. Watch my right arm. Okay, I don't know if YouTube will let me put this on, but there is a video that you can watch and it features a live mouse being fed to a snake. If you don't really like that kind of thing, then look away. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now, I'm not sure if I'll be allowed to put this on YouTube, but if I am, look away if you don't like watching a live mouse being fed to a snake. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, okay, are you guys ready? Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Before we go, I would like to show you some pictures of the delicious food in Thailand and Malaysia. I made a deal with my dad and it was that every day I'd have to eat one meal of the local food even if it was spicy hot and burnt my mouth, which it usually was. But there were a few delicious puddings and drinks. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications and keep on watching until the end. Thank you.